and welcome to my kitchen. Today we're making something that's perfect for these cold winter nights. So let's get started. First, I'm gonna grab some scallions. I'm gonna cut the ends off and then I'm gonna slice them. And earlier, I rendered off two pieces of bacon because I wanna get that bacon fat to use it as an extra layer of flavor for this soup. It's gonna be so good. And then I'm just gonna use that crumbled up bacon to top of it. So this is probably the trickiest thing we're gonna do for the soup. It's so simple. And like I said earlier, I rendered off a couple of pieces of bacon and I've got that bacon fat in my pot on the stove, but it's cooled off. So the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna warm it up. Now, one of the things I love about my gas stove is that it's instant heat and you can control it just like that. My bacon fat has heated up so quickly, I'm gonna add the scallions to that and then we'll talk about what else is going in there. Let's see. I'm just gonna bring them over in my hand and I did wash them. <laughs> so while the onions are getting nice and soft, we'll talk about what else is in this soup. First, we're gonna have the star of the show, the mashed potatoes. I've got three cups of mashed potatoes that I have left over. I've got half a teaspoon of paprika, you can use smoked paprika, but since I've got the bacon already in there, I'm just gonna use the regular paprika. And if you don't have it, leave it out. This is your soup, however you like it. I've got a teaspoon of garlic powder. You can also use garlic salt. Just keep in mind, you don't wanna put a lot of salt after that um, because you already have it if you're using the garlic salt. And I've got some shredded cheddar cheese. You can use Gouda, you can use mozzarella, whatever you have on hand. Again, this is all about the leftovers, right? So it's stuff that you already have in your fridge. Super simple. I have half a cup of milk. And then I've got some chicken stock. Now in here, I've got about three cups. I might only use two. This is all up to you, depending on how thick or how thin you like your soup. I tend to like it a little bit more on the hearty side. We're gonna start with our spices so they can cook a little bit and get those oils nice and toasty. And then we'll toss everything else in and it will be done. Start with the paprika. All right, so I've got my spices in. I can already smell those delicious flavors cooking together. So now I'm gonna deglaze the pot. I've got my half a cup of milk and this is just gonna mix in with all those flavors and get up all those little crusty bits off the bottom of the pot. Okay, so I've turned up the heat. I've got my pot nice and deglazed and now I'm gonna add my mashed potatoes. I've got all of that stirred together. Now I'm gonna add a little bit of cheddar cheese just to give it that one more little kick of flavor. And who doesn't love cheese? Okay, so I've got my cheese in there, all my flavors layered and smelling delicious. It's about the consistency of some kind of Finnish mashed potatoes. Finnish, not Finnish. Although I don't know what they eat in Finland. <laughs> And I've got my chicken stock. Again, I've got three cups here. I might not use it all. I'll probably use about two. It just all depends on how thick or how thin you like your soup. And if you're making this around Thanksgiving time and you've made some turkey stock, you can use that instead. Okay, so it's all in there and I'm just gonna let it bubble for a little bit. If you can't wait, you can eat it right now because it is all cooked. I just like to give it a little more time for those flavors to really melt together. That is it. This is a rich, thick, delicious potato soup. We're gonna throw a little bit of garnishes on there. Got some more of that cheese because, you know, cheese. Go. And of course, the bacon that I cooked earlier. It's nice and crunchy, so we're gonna put a little bit of that on there. I'll put a little bit more. Everything's better with bacon. And if you want, I always like a little bit more of that kind of onion crunch. I'm gonna sprinkle some of that on top. And there you have it, a thick, rich, hearty, and delicious potato soup, all made from those Thanksgiving mashed potato leftovers. Enjoy.